Hello and welcome to another book review with me, Alice. Today we are going to be talking about The Maze Runner. Now I read this book recently because, you know, I've seen it all over the place. There's a movie about it, but my daughter um, had to read it in school because she's in the gifted program. They had an enrichment book club during COVID and continued it online for last year and a little bit into this year, or I guess last year, 2022, both in the fall and the winter spring but anyway she read it for her enrichment book club and she really liked it so when she really likes a book like that that I find interesting I'll pick it up I'll read it and then her and I can continue the conversation and in this case I got her the whole series I was lucky enough to actually on the same day I found three of the five books no two of the five books in one secondhand store and the other two books in another secondhand store when I went shopping with my friend and I just ordered the fifth one off of Amazon used. So we have the full series and now we're going to work our way through it together. So we're going to start the store, the Scorch Trials in the next little bit or so, probably after I launch my book. But anyway, I decided to read this book so I could catch up to her and we could have a nice conversation about it because who doesn't want a book club with their teenager? And so I read it and you know, I'm not a big dystopian fan, but I actually like this one because there wasn't so much emphasis on like the world completely being gone and falling apart. It took place in the specific location that all of these boys were put into. And so what I really liked about it is it had the big, like a large cast of characters. And I do like books with large casts of characters because there's always somebody to root for. Like if you hate a lot of the characters, you're going to find somebody. I thought Chuck was like an annoying little brother and I thought he was funny and I liked Thomas and I liked so many of the older boys in that too and it, a lot of them really con I connected with so I really enjoyed that aspect. Um, I love a book where they make up their own words for things so that was an extra little bit that made it fun when they kept saying shank and whatnot and you had to figure it out. I enjoyed that. Um, the whole thing gave me Lord of the Flies vibes so I kept waiting for more people to die because of the Lord of the Flies vibes that I kept giving and I'll be honest there was a maze. I love mazes. I'm obsessed with, there's a map of a labyrinth behind me. I love mazes. <laughs> so the fact that it had that was really great. Now, some of the things that it wasn't as fond of, um, with so many characters, there were some that were annoying. That's the consequence of too many characters is there's gonna be some you absolutely hate as well. Um, I'm still a little confused about what the beetle bots looked like. I don't think the description was as great as it could have been. So that would have been nice. We got a lot of description of the wall and the vines, but I'm not sold 100% on what they look like. And I'm not sure um, of the layout of everything just because like a map in the book would have been really helpful, but it's a little frustrating when they go into so much detail about little things, but I'm like, I don't even know where the sleeping quarters are in comparison to the kitchen and that. So it's a little hard when you're losing kind of bigger things like that. But I really liked the story. I liked the, um, what is it? The talking in their heads, the Thomas and, oh, I forget the girl's name. Oh, that's terrible. But um, I love the way that they talk to each other in their heads. I love that Thomas was the one that was just like outside the box thinking he was brave. He was different. He survived the night outside when nobody else thought that he could. And he like went after what he wanted to to help his friends and that. I also really like that they had these people drawing mazes every day and that they hadn't, like they were trying to figure out a pattern and see if everything changed in that. And I thought that was actually a really cool way to, for the um, creators to try to send a message to the boys and see if they would figure that kind of stuff out. So that was really neat because it's something different, right? And I like when you find different things in stories and it's not just the same kind of retelling on repeat. So I did really like it. The ending was like, whoa. And I needed a break before I jumped into the Scorch Trials as well. So I'm reading some other books before that. But I thought it was really great. I am excited to see what happens next. I was really sad when certain characters died. It was some I was happy they died. <laughs> some I was not. But I really like the story. I love the idea of teenagers being able to take care of themselves like that because so many times you read books where teenagers are just stupid and useless in it. And in this one, they had like made an entire society for themselves in this place in the two years they were there. And I really like that. They figured out ways to fairly decide who does what. And it was just really nice to see um, young adults portrayed in a way that makes you think that our society has hope. So I really enjoyed that, even though it's a dystopian where everything is over. So apparently for teenagers to act like real adults, the world has to end. But I digress. <laughs> so I really enjoyed The Maze Runner. If you're looking for something a little bit more classical, like a little bit more old school um, fantasy type thing that was popular when it first came out, um, and you like The Hunger Games, I'd say give it a try. I really enjoyed it. it. I gave it four stars and I'm really looking forward to the rest of the series. So I hope you enjoyed this book review. Here it is again. <laughs> and I hope you guys will come back next week to hear my review on Saint. <laughs> Have a good day and happy reading.